Okay, so I'm actually a little bit confused, shocked. I don't know. I'm a little bit like upset. I'm a bit saddened by this news, to be honest, because I used to watch Raw Beauty Christy back in the day. Like back in the day, I feel like a lot of people went through that, you know, beauty influencer, um, beauty guru phase. I was never massively into makeup and I'm still not massively into makeup, but I did used to quite like, you know, the drama. I, used to try. I tried, all right, I tried. I'm not naturally very good at makeup, but I went through a phase of at least trying. And she was one of those people that I used to really, I used to watch. I used to watch her quite a lot. And then I don't know, I just, life just got in the way. And then I was like, oh, I don't really care about this anymore. And then just stopped. It wasn't so much like a, I stopped watching for a particular reason. I literally just stopped watching beauty influencers. And I don't think I've watched a beauty influencer unless for the drama for years, like actual years and years and years. That That's my back history. So I was really, really shocked when this came up on my Reddit. And if you don't know, I spend a lot of my time on Reddit. I love Reddit. I absolutely love Reddit. So if there's any big piece of news that's gonna hit me, it will hit me over on Reddit. I'm gonna read this out to you and I'm literally going to be sharing and reading this Reddit post um, and then adding some thoughts and feelings to it because this person who I will leave the Reddit linked there has articulated it and compiled things in a way that there's just no point in me trying to make it any better. Basically found out that Raw Beauty Christy um has sent her kids to her I think it's her sister's homeschooling thingy majiggy uh where they practice some very anti-LGBTQ plus practices. In a nutshell, people now realise that she has been hiding her anti-gay, anti-LGBTQ plus views on her main page. And this is, I mean, it's problematic in, in one sense, because I personally don't feel that anyone should be against the LGBTQ plus community. Not just that, but she has, I don't know if still does now, but she obviously is going to be affiliated and has been sent product and has been, you know, aligned with brands that are very pro LGBTQ plus community. So this to me feels very, very, very smoke and mirrors. I'm not here to like cause drama. I mean, I'm sharing drama. I'm mostly here because I was actually quite shocked to find out this news. Um, yeah, so so I'm gonna read it from the very beginning. Got into following her about five or six years ago because of her popularity on the Beauty Guru subreddit. I couldn't understand what people liked about her and became completely fascinated by her, especially as I saw hints of her falling into the crunchy to alt-right pipeline. There were subtle things that could be explained away. Example, she shared a post about food with health misinformation from a right-wing carnivore diet type Instagram. Maybe she just saw the post on her Insta feed and didn't realize where it came from. She started wearing a cross slash reading the Bible slash attending church. She blocks anyone asking her about vaccines. There's only anecdotal evidence, so maybe that's not true. She started using phrases common with fundies. Maybe she just picked it up from her religious family members, etc. As of the 4th of July, I discovered solid confirmation of Christie's descent to the right. They're basically trying to say is that they started noticing signs of her becoming like more deeply entrenched into the church and you know the far right if you know what I mean. We'll be completely honest and I don't know if it's just because I cover and I have covered a lot of family vloggers. I've covered a lot of family vloggers that are very like Mormon or very strict religious beliefs. Um, so I always think to that almost especially if you've got children that's kind of what I instinctively think to. Since her son was a baby she has often discussed her interest in homeschooling with her followers. At one point she asked her followers if it was possible to build a mini school on her property and hire a teacher to come to them. A few days ago she confirmed that she had decided to send her son to a homeschool co-op when he starts school later this year. Um, she then shares a picture where it says, have you decided on homeschooling or not? This is on Raw Beauty Christie's Instagram. Um, yes, we will be homeschooling with a homeschool co-op. Because I follow her sister on social media, I knew that this was her sister's homeschool group as the photo Christie posted matched the ones posted on her sister's homeschool Facebook page. Her sister has been featured in Christie's videos and last year, Christie made a GoFundMe for her sister with her name and photos included, so her sister is somewhat of a public figure. 
Christy's sister recently started this homeschool group with a friend because she believes God spoke to them and told them that they need to rescue children from the perverse public school system. This just reminds me of those uh, family vloggers that get like ultra into religion and then pull their kids out of school. Um, and then it then shares a post of this poster is referring to Christy's sister. This and then it sent, it shows a picture of the school with a little tagline. We see blank family learning cooperative as a lighthouse for this fallen world, a place of rescue from the darkness and perversiveness of the broken public school system. The mission is to provide a safe place for children to learn and grow in their relationship with God, building up a community of homeschoolers who are taking back their identities in Christ Jesus. We pray to be a seed planting corporation for the kingdom of heaven. We are also here to inform and equip other churches and all communities how to have planned a school in your area the lord told us we would be a blueprint for more schools to come we have faith and are walking boldly with the word of our father in our hearts yeah so as you can imagine extremely um religious okay on the 4th of july a video was posted to the homeschool social media pages showing them participating in a parade and this part is going to annoy a fair few people so trigger warning it featured them holding signs with anti-lgbtq sentiment the slogan don't mess with our kids is actually the name of an anti lgbtq plus hate organization and it is clear that they are associated with this hate group because the sign is promoting their hashtag Christy's son was in the video, face showing. I will not be posting him, but I find it interesting that she is against showing his face on social media unless it's being used to promote hate. I don't even, I literally don't even know what to say. Like, this is bad, isn't it? Like, I'm, I'm not, like, this is bad. I'm not overreacting. Like, th this is actually bad, isn't it? This is bad. This isn't like someone uh, found a tweet that you said, like, 15 years ago that is, like, absolutely catastrophically bad and horrible but then you then come on and you're just like oh well i was young or i didn't have those thoughts anymore which i still think i still side eye but this is really bad son involved in this kind of stuff is just not is just not good at all in any which way although chrissy does not appear in the video allowing her son to be involved in it shows her support she also liked the video on facebook and then it shows liking it now it seems that Christy is getting her wish of having a school on her property. The homeschool announced their moving locations on their Facebook page with a picture from Christy's outdoor entertainment area that has been featured on her social media. I have blocked out all faces aside from Christy's sister. Wow. So not only are, have they started up their little hate school, but they're also doing it now by the looks of it on Christy's property. We are so thankful for a beautiful first year together at blank. We can't wait to be all settled into our new location in the fall, praying everyone has an amazing summer break. Video was also posted by someone involved with the homeschool group showing children playing in Christy's tree net. Christy frequently shares her tree net in her Instagram stories. Christy has also announced that she is building her sister a house on her property. So all things point in the direction of Christy now hosting this homeschool group on her property. All things considered, she cannot distance herself from these hateful beliefs. So we I do find that odd. Also, this doesn't feel like homeschooling. This feels like, um, what do you call it? Like unschooling. I could be completely wrong. Homeschooling, I got nothing the matter with homeschooling. Before you come at me, because I've had people come at me before saying like, what do you have against homeschooling? Nothing. Two of my best friends in the whole entire world were homeschooled. I'm pretty sure someone other. Anyway, no, I, I'm not against homeschooling. If done right, I really don't care. Do whatever you want. Unschooling, on the other hand, I will hold my hand up and wave it. I don't think it's a thing. Basically, it's like um, instead of teaching core subjects, you allow them to learn what they want to learn, uh, even if that means like not really learning a lot, which does sound like a really cool thing to do. You know, like only learn what you want to learn. Only, you know, if you feel like learning some science and go do a little science project. So do you know what I mean? Like basically learning through experience, learning through growth and learning through what you want to do in theory sounds great but today in today's climate of trying to find jobs and like people really looking at your qualifications and just general life I feel like and also a lot of the people that do unschooling aren't equipped to even homeschool let alone unschool does this make any sense whatsoever what do we feel about this the one of the things that I will say or I said at the very beginning 
which is very concerning, is that a lot of people who are within the LGBTQ plus community absorb her content, sort of like accepting things and pretending like you're all for this community. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, you're going to these like protests, which are very much anti that. Um, protect the kids, the perverse nature of what they're teaching in school, which I can only imagine is probably them being informed about, you know, same sex marriage and, you know, transgender community. That is what I'm taking away from it. So yeah, it's pretty bad. I wasn't actually expecting that whatsoever because like I say, I used to watch her, but like I'm talking years, like I'm talking about eight years ago, like a very long time ago. Okay, I'm talking a long time ago. Oh, and by the way, the comments on her videos are not good. So someone said, are you gonna address your alt-right homophobic views, bestie, or just, you know, keep hiding it in plain sight? I am so disappointed to find your association with an alt-right anti-LGBTQIA plus groups, Christy. I hope you see how destructive DMWOK is and walk away from that. Until then, I'm unsubbing and unfollowing. There's literally people out here calling her raw beauty fundamentalist. Christy, what happened to your July 4th post? Oh, it's just, it's just not the one. I mean, it is the one because people were calling her out and rightly so, but she has been deleted by the way if you try and find these comments guarantee you will not be able to so i didn't realize i thought that she was just like really down to earth and chill but apparently she's not um which yeah i don't know if you guys have any more information you want to tell me about or if you're just like what the hell is going on please let me know because yeah i don't know i don't know it, it really took me by surprise when I read it, but thank you so much to this Redditor who has obviously gone and compiled all of this. It's a very big talking point on Reddit at the minute. So yeah, I will leave it linked down below because the comments are commenting. There's just so many comments. Weird, weird. You just don't, you can't trust anyone. Not that I have watched their content in a while, but I'm telling you, you can't trust anyone, even the people that you don't suspect. The, and, and it's not even the fact that you don't like, it's not even the fact that she's like, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, it, it's something that is so not what you would expect that it just leaves you feel like your head's just completely swiveled around, you know what I mean? It's not something minor. You can't get away with this, especially in the community that you're in. I mean, you, I don't think, I don't feel like you should get away with it, period, but especially not in the community that you're in. Oh gosh. No, absolutely not. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And I will catch up with you guys in the next video.